Hey guys, going to do a quick follow-up video. Um, as most of you have seen my video from Tuesday's riding. Um, I finally got some nice weather up here, so I spent the day doing some motos. So I figured I'd do a short video just to follow up um, with how things have been going. Motor's still running like a wristwatch. Uh, no complaints. I'm going to still hunt for some more power. Uh, I'm gonna gonna do a 240 cc big four cylinder, and uh, I'm gonna try a different cam and a rev box with no rev limiter, um, just to see how far I can push the push the limits of this thing. Um, but all in all, uh, the revalve front forks are working very well. Um, I have no complaints about them other than them being a little bit heavy. But uh, rear shock. Still got to work on that. I'm not happy with the rear shock. It's it's leaps and bounds better, but uh, for riding on a motocross track, uh, it still packs up. Well, but what a suspension guy calls packs up. It stays going over the bump. It stays higher in the mid stroke and uh, not rebounding fast enough. Um, handles well, but uh, I don't know if you watch. If you pay attention to the back of the bike in the videos, it, it kind of rides low most of the time. So I want to keep it higher in the higher in the travel. Um, it kind of has this area where it always wants to settle. And uh, me personally, I would rather not have it settle there. I'd rather have it ride higher in the stroke. Um, but uh, I mean, probably, you know, the, the guys with the L models and, and guys that are just typically trail riding won't have any issues with it at all but um, for what I'm doing I have to pick the thing apart and um, go through the steps of complaining to myself on what I want to make better and and change but uh, one of the other things I wanted to mention to you guys I don't know if anybody else has had this problem um, I know Dave rides on a motocross track um, as well but Tuesday happened three different times um, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna try to change um, but basically because the track was a little bit drier the dirt was soft and there was some some more ruts than the pre the previous video um, that I posted is my feet were getting ripped right off the foot pegs and uh, you know not only is it not safe for your ankles and your knees but uh, basically, I, I if you if you look down here, I left the dirt on there. But when I'm either you know going through a turn with soft dirt, or landing off of a jump, or going through a rut, um, it's basically peeling my feet right off the foot pegs, and it's because the foot peg is basically level with the lower frame cradle. So when when the bottom of the frame hits the ground, then your 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 feet are right there too. So if there's soft dirt built up on the edge of a rut or leaning over in a turn, you can see right on the tip of the brake pedal and, and all this sand right here, the dirt just comes up and pushes your feet right off the foot peg. And uh, that drives me nuts. Um, I've had some some broken bones prior to this, so I always try to protect my feet and my ankles. So I'm either going to take a set of Honda mounts that I have here and see if they will fit on there um, and raise the foot pegs up a little bit. If not, I'm going to get some uh, works connection to make a foot peg widener. And it's a weld on piece uh, with taller teeth. And instead of normally you would put it around the foot peg like this to make the foot peg wider. But if you go on their website, you'll see it. It's, it's just a horseshoe. So I would, what I was thinking was trying to squeeze it in a little bit and I would actually weld it to the top of the foot peg and they're half inch tall so it would raise my foot pegs up well it would raise my feet up a half an inch um, but that's just a personal thing that I'm going to work on um, but uh, all in all the bike's been great I have had no issues nothing broken um, nothing weird happened um, I appreciate all you guys watching my videos and subscribing to my YouTube channel and talking to you guys on the RXB Facebook page. This thing's been a lot of fun. I've met a lot of new people. 
and uh, I'm going to continue picking away at it, making it lighter, faster, um, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, next video I put out will probably uh, have something to do with the 240cc big board kit that I'm going to put on there. Um, or possibly some suspension stuff. Um, once, I, once I'm once i done fiddling with the motor, I'm going to focus uh, more on the suspension uh, and the chassis. Um, but as of right now, I give this thing a thumbs up. Can't complain. Um, on the front wheel, that thing's working good. Um, that was the first ride with that on there. Uh, so that, that all worked as it should. Um, my back wheel is holding up. I haven't had any problems. I haven't had any loose spokes. Nothing looks like it's pulling through. So I'm going to leave that stock back wheel on there until, uh, until something happens. Um, but after that, I'm going to, uh, go to a whole complete Honda wheel. And, uh, but like I say, I'm going to, I'm going to use as much stuff on this thing as I can that comes with it just to, you know, prove its durability. But... I'm happy with it. I like I say I'm I would recommend it to anybody, you know, that's not gonna use it for straight, you know, motocross track stuff. Um you can, obviously I am. But uh you'd you'd have to do some stuff. You'd have to do some suspension work and uh but but it's all it's possible. I mean I'm gonna keep using it. I ride this thing all the time, and and I like it. And uh, it, it gets better and better every time I ride it. So, um, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.